I mean, my, like, my, okay, so inside information. My goal for this episode is for Tyler to see this edition and to be like, yo, this <laughs> is so dope. So Tyler, please, like, we're going to tag you, but like, it would be awesome if you, I honestly think you'd like Erica's work. So. Hey everyone, and welcome to QTVC Live. My name is Julia, and we are recording the second half of our Mocha Cleveland collaborative season today in the Cleveland Institute of Art Green Screen and Lighting Room. We are super excited to be here today in the studio with Cleveland-based conceptual artist Erica Townsend, aka ET. Erica, how are you today? I'm doing well. Just hanging in there. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Yeah. It's a super pleasure to have Erica here because Erica is blowing up this year. It is 2022. Erica has numerous shows in the United States. Erica, thank you again for making time to be here. Not only am I excited to have you here, but this is the first time I'm seeing this edition that Erica is debuting on the show. Erica, can you talk to us about this product? Yeah, so the title of this um, series is Popsicles, and it's split in half where it's pop and sickles because it's um, diving into pop culture and different characters. So I chose four characters, and the four characters are um, Tom from um, Tom and Jerry, and then Cartman from South Park, and I have Andy Warhol, he's a pop artist, and um, I have um, Tyler, the creator, but he's not here right now. But Erica, what is your relationship to each of these characters? Can you tell us why you chose Cartman, Andy Warhol, Tyler, the creator, and Jerry from Tom and Jerry? Each of them is something I love. So like when it comes to like cartoons, I, I love Tom and Jerry because of how it can relate to anyone because it's just all body language and it can be played in anywhere and um, the world and everyone has the same relationship with it. Humor wise, South Park is like one of my favorite shows. And like Cartman is like the bad, ignorant little kid on yeah, there. Yeah, such a brat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Andy Warhol is like my favorite artist and pop art and everything. So I think that kind of makes sense. And then Tyler, he break a lot of boundaries, like even with race and music and everything. So I always looked up to him. There are five of each of these pop popsicles available and you can visit them right now at qtvclive.com slash shop. Erica, where did the idea for this series of like deconstructed popsicles come from? It was just uh, something from like a nostalgic memory and also from just childhood experience of like running to the ice cream truck and then like seeing this perfect image of your favorite cartoon character. And then you open it and it's just like, it don't <laughs> yeah, so it just reminds me of just like buying stuff off a of line where this image portrayed that's like, it's going to be perfect and then you get it and it's just not that great, but you still accept it. You're still seeing like the beauty of it. I, mean, I love these because you're, you're sort of preserving this like state of melting. You're preserving the state that's like instantly gone whenever you eat an actual, actual popsicle. And folks, just to like, Clarify, these are not actual popsicles that you can eat. These are, what are these made of, of Erica? Like, what was the uh, process? So the first thing I had to do was get um, oven baked clay and like um, make the shape of them. And then I made a mold of that with silicone. And then um, this is um, resin they use for like toy making. Do you have any tips and pointers for folks who are interested in maybe collecting art for the first time? Yeah, I would um, like, put in a relationship of like um, toy art where like people that like toy collectors where they just put it like on the shelf or like a display case. Folks, we're gonna take a moment to step outside of the studio and visit Erica's home studio. We'll be back shortly. Visit qtvclive.com slash shop to check out the products now. We'll see you in a bit. Well, I chose it to be in my apartment because it's cheaper and also it's just like I can just wake up and go into my space, which is a pro and con. Because if I just want to lay down and eat, <laughs> it can keep me from not doing art. But it's also a pro because it's just convenient. I like South Euclid because, well, since I don't drive because I'm scared of driving, it's like this spot is like good for walking like like taco bell and marx is right there 
and the nine literally stops in front like right there so the bus transportation is good it's a pro because like i love walking and i'll be seeing stuff that you can't see when you're in cars and stuff and also just like little things that happen like on a bus or whatever can like spark an idea it's just like a place to be yourself it's like your alone time or like the man cave of your own space. <laughs> I just love being in here. And also, since I have like this mini TV, I always be watching cartoons and stuff. Sometimes I go to sleep in here than my bedroom. <laughs> I design it to have like this black and white feel because I, I feel like it's like a sketchbook. That's why I love black and white in general. It just seemed like a fresh canvas. And they like opposite colors. So yeah, it's just like a place to like just brainstorm and also just to create. Most of the time I'm on a computer either like researching because I feel like people don't know that artists are like basically like really smart. <laughs> <laughs> So, like, I don't know. I think people think someone just think of a painting and just paint it. But, like, I do a whole bunch of research on things and make sure I, like, fact, fact check things. Because, like, when I make art, I want it to, the metaphor to make sense. So I got to make sure what I'm trying to convey is, like, a factual thing from that pop culture reference. So, so I start on doing that and then... I usually start with um, the material rather than the sketch. And I think about the history of like a certain object that I want to use. And then I run off of that. And we're back from the studio visit at Erica's home studio. And we were talking about Erica's latest edition of Popsicles. Erica, is this the first time you've worked with the popsicle motif? Um, nope. Back in my senior year of um, 2020, when I was going here to Cleveland Institute of Art, because um, the plastic room here has a lot of leftover foam, I was experiment and I created um, bubbles from Powerpuff Girls. And when I posted on my story, like everyone like blew up it, like, oh, this is cool. You should like make some of these and. So yeah, this already was like in the making like two years ago. It's nice to see this, this edition being made as part of your residency at Mocha Cleveland. What are the dates that you're going to be the artist in residence? November, I mean, Jan ah, July, <laughs> July through November. That's oh, awesome. 2022, yeah. Erica, will each of these popsicles be packaged? I will try to go with the, the look of how they come at the ice cream truck. And then I would hope to have like um, a stand that they can um, be on since they're more like an art product. Where can people find you and what events do you have upcoming? Um, my website is milkcrate.studio instead of .com. And then my Instagram is just milkcratestudio, which took like, it was hard to get it. Like I had to wait till someone deleted it. And I probably will have a show right now, I don't know, at um, Laboratory Gallery, but I'm not sure about it yet. Okay, we can edit that out if something goes. But if, if it happens, great, go to Avatar. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Erica, it's been an absolute pleasure having you in the studio. It's been so cool getting to see your practice. I love hearing you talk about your work. Thanks for making time to be here, y'all. Please visit Erica Townsend at milkcrate.studio and also please visit qtbclife.com slash shop to get your edition before they sell out. Erica is an emerging artist, is hot 2022. This is your year. Thanks for, <laughs> for being with us, Erica. We'll see y'all no soon. Ah, oh, thanks. Bye. Uh, <laughs> 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 chaotic end. <laughs>